Hello everybody and welcome back to the darkest dungeon. We are here once again within the cursed estate and we are raring and ready to go out on another expedition. We're going to be taking on the next level of the necromancer actually and this is because we have a specific build of people uh, set up for this, a specific group that I really wanted to take out, and we've got a diary to go along with this. So we're bringing out Lysander, our cleric errant. He's mainly going to be actually a damage dealer rather than as he normally would be a healer. Uh, we've still got the heal there just in case, but mainly, yeah, we're going to be going for damage and stuns um, with the concussive and the extra damage versus stunned there. We've also got Renault here, who we haven't taken out in a really long time. Uh, he's going to mainly be using Smite as well as potentially Holy Lance um, if he gets pushed back. I have that just enabled as a just-in-case. In fact, I might switch these two around. Um, oh, can I not switch them? Okay, it's fine. I can do it in the dungeon. Switch those two around so I can start off with a Holy Lance. Um, then, of course, we have Lucio. Um... He's going to be using Word of Power mainly, as well as giving uh, extra crits and debuffed stun resist, uh, just so we can try and get more stuns out, as well as having, obviously, Vade Retro to stun him, uh, do some stuns himself as well, and as well a heal, just in case. And then our actual main healer, Titania, uh, our Vestal, with the double healing and mainly just going for the heals and the ability to bypass stealth if we need it. And, of course, more stun in case we want that as well. Um, and if you haven't really got the theme already, these are all people that are of the light. We even have the um, Holy Bible with Renault, which, for one, I just think is a really, like, fitting trinket for him. But also, the plus damage to Unholy will help out quite a lot. So, I'm really looking forward to having those. Um... And yeah, this should be a really good group. And as I said, we do have a diary entry to go over with this one. And this is called Finding the Soul's Light. And this was actually a, um, a dual diary entry by Blank Gaming and myself, as I am the writer of Lysander. So let's get into this. As Lysander was reading up on efficient ways of cleansing what, uh, what's unholy, he overheard two women gossiping. He usually isn't the nosy type, but it was quite difficult to not hear the two speak. Oh, Amy, I almost forgot to tell you. While I was scouting out the section of the ruin she sent me to, I found Renault there. He was all covered in dust and was a bit shaken. I tried to ask him what he was doing there or help him, but he insisted that I mind my business. Hmm. Well, Rose, if he doesn't want to be aided, I don't think he can be of any use to us. Someone who slays creatures of the ruins without any help might um, and making out in one piece? This certainly intrigued Lysander. A couple of hours later, outside the flagellation chamber, Renault and Lysander meet. It's finally, uh, it's nice to finally speak with you, Lysander. Most of the people who worship the light insist I'm weird and impolite, so they don't want to talk to me. But what brings you here? Well, I've seen you round here from time to time and heard things about your mission here. I could tell just from my first glance at you that you are a man of the light, and I feel I need some of your guidance in navigating this place. I came here to conquer my fears, but I still feel shaken. And the light, it doesn't seem to shine as bright as it once did for me. You seem to have embraced this place and let it empower your light. Will you teach me? I could certainly try to. I honestly um, wasn't all too um, certain in the light before, but it really does wonders. We can talk theoretically on how you could face your fears, or we could go and I would help you literally face them. Which would you prefer? Honestly, a bit of both would be ideal. I hear a new priest has arrived in town, and it would be good to get some practice of the rituals of the light and learn more about it from you. But despite my size, I do really also need some help standing up to those foul beasts when face to face. Especially when the others um, out here are depending on my knowledge of the light to keep them alive. I've heard rumblings of a necromancer returning, and I think um, this time the light is the only thing that can truly sh stop him. Maybe we could jump in at the deep end and really face something scary. I've been steadily tracking down the necromancer. You want to fry the biggest fish first? I like that. Let's go to the damned ruins so I can show how I personally face the evil that lurks there. Maybe you could even join in um, when you begin to feel more at ease with it. What do you say? Perhaps, but who would you suggest taking with us? I really wouldn't feel comfortable just going at it alone. Um, not that I don't trust you, but I just don't think I'm ready for that yet. In that case, I'll call up to Tanya. She'd be happy to help. She's one of the few that um, really doesn't dislike me. Lucio as well. He doesn't really talk much, but eh, the group does need a fourth. Ah, a fellow follower of the light. I'd be so grateful for the introduction to Lucio as well. Seems like I could really learn a lot on this expedition. And now we get to head out. 
into the wild world and see exactly what's waiting for us. I'm excited. We've got a few other diary entries to obviously get through as we go ahead here, but let's embark. I think we should do a pretty good job of taking this guy out. The, my only worry is we don't have any strong backline damage, as you can see. Um, but we can use this here. Um, do you know what? I might take my heal off and put on the, uh, the blinding um, glare there. Just for the reduction of accuracy. And I'll come back to the heal if I need it. But anyways, let's uh, let's embark and I see how we do. A delegation of experts from overseas, eager to plumb the depths of their knowledge and share with them certain techniques and alchemical processes I had found to yield wondrous and terrifying results. Having learned all I could from my visiting guests, I murdered them as they slept. Oh, damn. We also have another Bacilla uh, diary entry here. I've come to the decision. Um, I've come to a decision. Not about our pint-sized guest. I'm still lost on him. I've decided I need to stop giving 110% every time I go out. Of course, I want to make sure my companions stay alive while we're on our missions, but I can't do that and keep the Hamlet from imploding. I swear, I sleep for two days after every time I get home. When I do that, I'm not helping anyone. From today on, I'm going to start putting some limits on myself. My magic will suffer, but at least I can still feel human when I get back. I really like that diary entry. That's for um, our heir, Bacilla, and there's actually a reason behind that diary entry. The, uh, if anyone has seen Bacilla perform in recent dungeons, you might know that um, you might know that actually Bacilla is um, Bacilla's kind of crazy because. They have, like, the air class is, like, just really overpowered in terms of their ability to heal. So what I did is I suggested to the group about potentially nerfing their healing ability somewhat. Uh, just, just to make it a little more balanced. And so that dire entry is actually tying into as to why they're going to be less effective at healing going forward. Unfortunately, I trapped the Sam across the board here. It's not very good. Um, but we, we did a decent job there. Not too bad, not too bad. But this, this group should hopefully do a good job. I'm hoping Lysander... And, um, Renault have a good time here. I'm not going to be using, uh, my torches all too much, by the way. That was bad damage there. Um, just because I do have the, um, the salamander on, which is going to give us torchlight. Do you know what? Actually, quickly just check out this curio. Why not? Ah, it's books. It's always books. And now there's a battle in here now that I've done that. My bad. Throw that in there and see what we can get. Nice bit of stuff. More books. Do one torch there. We'll get into battle. Ooh, goddamn. We have some uh, gargoyles here. They're going to be problematic, I'm sure. Um, your stun chance is really high. Yours is pretty low. It does uh, disable it for a few rounds, so we'd have to be wary of that. And we'll go in yes, for the strike there. See, Renault's going to be really showing Lysander how, how to get things done. And that goes right through the prop. And we'll stun you out as well. This guy can obviously observe us, so we want to be careful and make sure we kill him quickly. And he can also obviously empower things as well, which is stressful, but we should be okay. Ooh, nice. Good dodge on a few of those guys there. Stress is likely to be a bit of an issue here, but shouldn't be too bad. And there's... A wow, Lucio, that's a lot of damage you just put, uh, output there. I wasn't expecting it to be quite so crazy. But I am certainly happy about it. And that's a crazy big heal from Titania as well there. Wow. This has got armor piercing, so we're going to be using this a lot. And then we'll go for that as well. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Very, very nice. Again, I want to swap these two around. I want I want to be able to start every fight with a Holy Lance because it's, like, just really strong. Um, so I'm going to be going for that. A lot of gargoyles about, apparently. Quite a lot of gargoyles about indeed. Like I said, it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Um, we'll do that. Oh, that moved him back. I didn't realize that moved them back. That's slightly problematic, actually. Um, we'll go for you. Unfortunate dodge there. Uh, we'll try and stun you out, though. Oh, really? You resisted that? Okay. Um, we'll go for the kill on him. Get through the prop. Super, super valuable. Was Ander being able to do that? Unfortunately, no stun on this guy meant that the stressful inc incantation did come out and markers as well. A shame. But we have ooh, one great thing about this group is we have healing on every single person. Every single person has the ability to heal, so that's that's quite strong for us. 
Uh, this is unholy, so we'll need some extra damage there. I was hoping it would do a bit more than that, but oh well. Ooh, the pushback. Not necessary. Bit annoying. Luckily, we got a dodge there, though. Um, right, try and get the stun on you this time. There we go. We, we got it this time. Nice. Do, do we also get a bit of light off of that as well? Yeah, we get some torch off of that, too. We've got a lot of abilities to play with torch. I really like this guy having Salamander because he is a warrior of the light, so it makes a lot of sense. Glare them all. Really? They all resisted that? Wow. Then comes the uh, the bigger hits. Do some damage there. Not being the most effective against this group, I've got to say. Um, but it is what it is. We'll swap around there so we can get some damage out. More bleed coming in. Yeah. It's okay. Like I said, our heals are pretty strong in this group, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Even the party heal for seven across the board is really, really nice. Nice smackdown there. And we'll go for a kill there as well. And we can try and get a stress heal here, actually, if, um, if we get the, the timing right on who goes next. Doesn't matter. He got stunned. I was going to use him next to get some stress healing do done. The game said a big fat no to that idea. Basically, he has this ability here where he can destroy corpses and it will um, give us extra stress healing. It's pretty nice. But instead, we just destroy the corpses and pull you forward. And look, Lysander absolutely wail on you. Again, armor piercing, super valuable. Very, very nice. Good stuff. Crack this bad boy open as well. Ooh, okay. I will take all of those. I probably should have got rid of the Citrine rather than the Jade, but oh well. Um, rearrange our group again. Make these two to change around again. Ooh, hello. There's a stress heal here. Uh, you're on 29. I think this heals for 30, so this is actually pretty valuable. Nice. I'm pretty sure it's 30. Ooh, hello. Very strange battle here. What the hell? Luckily, we have multiple ways of uh, of working around this. Oh, wait. What? Damn it. She can only use that when she's in the front three. F front three. My bad. My bad. There you go. Oh, he dodged it as well. Dude, this guy. Absolute tyrant. You you little shit. I guess we're just going to do a lot of healing then. Rushed shot. Wow, okay. A lot of extra stress I wasn't expecting. Very weird to get a battle like this, though. There's only literally one guy. It's very strange. I like that. When Lysandre gets healed, there's a chance that it heals everyone. Send them to the dark pits already. Indeed. Ooh. Could have used this uh, thing on, on you a, a, a second ago. The stress heal. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. There we go. Got him. Weird battle there. It's a very strange battle indeed. Still need to start building up blood when we get the opportunity. We really do. Because uh, I, I am basically once once pretty much everyone's level four, that's when I'm going to start doing the DLCs. I think that's a good point to start them. Um, so we're, we're getting close to that. I definitely want to make sure we get the um, the brewery that brews blood every week before we go there, though. Another thing to de-stealth here. Um, we might be able to stun you with this. It'll at least give you the debuffs, which I'm pretty happy with. Definitely kill you. That 29 on a non-crit. That's because it's got 30% holy damage plus another 25% holy damage. Really, really nice. Um, and then light you up so we can attack you with anyone else. Stun you as well. I really love this group. It's a really cool group. Yeah. Um, where to power... Where the power seems to do, like, v wildly different amounts of damage. Sometimes it's crazy good, and other times it doesn't do much at all. Now, this guy can hit pretty hard, so... I'm hoping I can stun him again here. We, that Surprisingly, we got the stun. Oh, Lysander. Unfortunate miss. We should have buffed our accuracy. Oh, well. And we'll just get the kill there. Titania. While she does have low damage, she can still do some work. She can still do some work. 
grab that. I realize I have no need to come to this room over here, but I, th I thought I'd try and find some treasure anyways. Nice. Ooh, I will take those. You. Why do I keep accidentally swapping these guys around? My bad. My bad. Aha! This is actually a good reason to do this. We got a buff out of it. So, in terms of that, we'll just go for that. It'll knock you back. Stun you. That's fine. Ooh, that's a, a meaty attack. Wow. And your stress is getting really, really high here, um, Lucio. I apologize for that. Unfortunately, you can't do what I wanted to here. Um, let's just go for a shield bash. Get another stun going. And then get another stun going. And then do that on you. Stopped all those guys from acting for now. There's another kill, lovely. Try and leave those bodies if we can. Nice heal there on Lucia. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave the bodies for now because I want to try and use them for stress healing, which is maybe a bad idea, but we'll try it out anyways. Lucia, is it your turn yet? Oh, come on. Cruel mockery on Lucia. Thank God for dodging. Nice one. Right, now we can use this. I'll get rid of the corpses. It's only a little bit of stress healing, but it's definitely helpful. A decisive pummeling. Indeed, decisive. Very nice. Another stun on you. Lazander, can you get the smack down here? Yes, you can, baby. Yes, you can. Awesome. What we got here? Success so clearly. Ooh, okay. Um, I will get rid of... Some citrine for the money stack. And... This is kind of tricky. I want to keep the skeleton key just in case. I'm going to get rid of the torches. We've not really been needing those, have we? Um, suit of armor. I guess we'll just give that to you. 30% prot. Uh, oh, no, sorry. It's just 10% dodge, I think. 30% prot is only one, one more round. I don't know what you got that from, but there you go. I don't even know if we're going to need to camp here, you know? Uh, we, 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 might, we might not need it. We might not need it. We'll see. See what traps and different yep enemies really him again Careless every time. Will find no clemency in this place. And we got another jade. I'm gonna take that over the holy water, I guess. Scouting here, so we've got a boss over there and a curry over there. We're going to be on low light if we go into the boss fight like this. I think I will cam. Otherwise, we're going to be on really low light. Suppose we could fight this battle and then we'd be on better light. Yeah, let's just camp. Why not? We can get buffs out of it. So, food-wise... I'm going to take a risk and do this. I need the stress healing. Um... Prevent Nighttime Ambush. Prevent Nighttime Ambush. Prevent Nighttime Ambush. I think this is the best one. We'll go for this. Produces a Holy Water. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, let's have a little look, see what we've got going on here. Nothing amazing. Let's do that. And then do that. There you go. And we'll read another diary entry while we're here. This is a Bagman diary entry by um, Penn Simmons. The drum beats in the heart of the cursed manor. They call for us. Like a cascading wall of singing sirens swimming deeper and deeper into the dark. We gather and equip ourselves, preparing for battle lest we join the horrid res residence. But we keep venturing deeper with only enough concern for our own well-being to bring bandages and food as we journey, swords drawn, into the encroaching shadows. This is the fate of the damned. This is Sisyphus pushing his boulder up the mountain. This is us praying our way onto um, Karen's raft. 
To die is the cost of living after all, and all contests of might and blade end with loss. You should know this, you bagged man. You contest, um, contest ended with... Your contest ended with you on stage only to wear the rope. You lost our life that day, yet here you stand on another stage, testing your might and will against another lost cause. What will be the co what will be the cost now that you already lost everything you were once? We have seen the price come due with many of those damaged soldiers. A performer crushed under her own ego. A monster lost the one um, who saw the humanity beneath his armor. A warrior lost her clan, her pride, and her joy. A researcher of the unseen and misplaced healer both lost their life. Karen collects the fees. Our rides come. You sleep haunted by memories of loss. You wear that bag and rope because you um, don't remember the face you see in the mirror. I remember. I remember everything. But you will see this as nothing. You will not hear me. You will not recognize me in your reflection. The drum beats. You hear them in the back of your mind. You join another doomed war and call it entertainment. But you know, beneath the madness, this is your final battle. Maybe we will meet um, at the end of your trip across the River Styx. Then you will experience the greatest loss. You'll remember everything too. Hot damn, Pen. That is some absolutely amazing writing. God damn. I'm loving that. Right. Let's, pu let's push on. Let them come. We used our last log. That's the state of things. So hungry. Why do we not turn back? In radiance, may we find you, you know we're going to get a food check right here, don't you? I tried to avoid it, but you know it's coming. And unfortunately, shall we go for this? Yep. Kind of expected that. Watch your step. Right. Um, let's just get you gobbling down the rest of that food, and then we'll head on in. We'll see how we do here. We'll see how we do. The necromancer. Hello. Terrible. I didn't switch these guys over. My bad. Good damage off the bat, though. Good damage off the bat. Yeah, I didn't switch these guys over, which is a problem. Really should have gone for the damage on him rather than there, but oh well. Stun chances here are hella low, but I had to try it. Nice damage there. Good thing is there's lots of bodies for us to relieve stress with as well here. Stealth guy. Nice damage again there. It's proving to be useful. Get everyone back up to full real quick. More good damage there. Okay, we are absolutely shracking this guy. Shwacking him down. The word of power, it just keeps getting stronger and stronger. Up to 66% extra damage. I'm not sure like how far that can go. Everyone healed up again. Stress is getting a little out of hand here, but it's not anything to worry about too much. Word of Power's power just keeps climbing up to 88% extra damage. Should have given the unholy damage to him, maybe. Yeah, stress on everyone is getting a little out of hand here, but it just kind of is what it is. Beautiful hit there. Beautiful hit. Hoping for crit heals there, but... Not so lucky. Oh, big hit, big hit. Very nice. The clawing dead. Another one jumps back up. Even more damage, two HP remains. And there's the killing blow, Titania, with the stun. These guys, these took on some stress there, but god damn did they do well. And we've got two of these now, which is really nice. And we will take... Ooh, interesting for the Jester. We'll take this. Thank you. And we'll return to the Hamlet with our heads held pretty high after that. I think that was really good. We did well. And we got ourselves this as well here. Um, extra bleed apl amount applied if afflicted. Extra damage received if afflicted. Kind of a nice idea. I like it. And Lysander makes his way to level 4, as does Lucio, as does Titania. Renault is just a tiny little bit off of it. No! It replaced Concussive! How dare you! 
How dare you replace concussive? That's such a good skill for this guy. I was I was meaning to lock that in, but it's so expensive that I hadn't got round to it yet. Irritant to some. Right, um memory to me. Wanna equip and sort. See if we've got any new classes inbound. Saw Hunter, here we go. That's a new class. Um what the hell bounty hunter skin is that? Whoa. Interesting skin there, what the hell? Look at that guy. Uh, but yeah, we got a Saw Hunter. We've been waiting on one of these guys. Uh, we do have a backstory ready for this guy for the next episode, so we'll bring him on board. Saw everyone. Good, good. Um, and then in here, on miss, inflict seven damage. Whoa. That's kind of an interesting idea. I'm not going to buy that because it's a bit expensive, but I like the idea behind that. Right, um... Now let's take a look at what we want to do next. So, do we want to stress heal any of these guys first? Yeah, we'll um, we'll put Lucio in the. Oh no, he he's a he's a religious guy, isn't he? So he's only gonna go. Um. Wait, what? He doesn't have anything barring him from entering these. What's going on? Oh, is it just because of his? I think it's just because he's a religious class, is all. Uh, so let him pray. And let you get in here. And Lazander, you can go for a drink, can't you? There you go. Lovely. Okay, let's see what we want to do next. See where we want to go for from here. But that's another boss defeated, which is really nice. Um, we could maybe go to the curve. We have the alluring siren, uh, potentially. Or we could just go for a medium mission here. Um, ooh, I like that. The stampeding buckle. Accuracy, crit, and speed if in position 4. That's really nice. Um, I like that a lot. That's a long mission, though. But I like that a lot. Right. Uh, first of all, let's see who we, who we actually want to take out next, shall we? So we've still got some level twos. Um, Orwell will bring out, definitely, because I, I want to level him up, and he's just pretty good anyways. Um, maybe we'll bring out um, Beatrice Amber. Arbor? Is it meant to be Arbor or Amber? I, apo I apologize if I put that in wrong. Um, we've got some good healing here. Cures Blight. Although, Wield, Wield plus uh, Blight probably isn't the best idea, but mainly we're using it for the healing anyways, so it's not a terrible idea. Um, maybe we'll go with that instead. And we'll keep her, yeah, we'll keep her up front. Then, also, who should we bring... I really want to bring Eileen out again at some point, but I'm sort of, cu I'm, I'm, I'm curious as to where she'd fit in. I'm not exactly sure as of yet. Um, hmm, who else should we bring? Artemis hasn't been out in a while, but she is a main healer and we don't really need a healer on this mission, I'd say. Can Orwell do everything from the back line? He can. So we could put Orwell here and you there. And then we could go with, like, Anya here. Um, do some fire damage. Let's do that. This is a bit of a mismatched party, I guess, but I like the idea. It should be okay. And I really want this. Um, although this is this is a level 4 mission, and we'd, br we'd be bringing in two level 2s, so maybe we won't do that mission, even though I like the idea. Maybe we'll just take um, one of these ones here. Oh, that's for the hag. Stun resist. Sunward Isle. We've got something else there. Duchess. We still need a Duchess. I don't know why one hasn't shown up yet. Um, I think it might be bugged. I might have to do some editing in the code. Because I, I had to do that before. And it the class showed up. But it hasn't showed up since then. Um... Yeah, let's, let's do this one here with the infected corpses. Uh, we'll give that a go. I think this should be a reasonably decent mission. It's a medium as well. Um, in terms of trinkets, what do we want to go for here? So, of course, on you, we want to go for all damage. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll do the double damage on you. So 20% plus 20%. And then you can go damage as well. There you go. You've got good damage too. Then I don't actually know what to go for here because... Technically, you're not that great for this because 
you, um, that breaks for a purse, nice. You, you heal via, uh, restoration, not regular healing. So, I'm not sure. But it would help this attack, so I guess it's useful for that regardless. So we'll go, we'll, we'll do it anyways and see if it helps. The double healing. And then, of course, on you, we want to have this as well as, um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There you go. Um, actually, do we, do we even need that one? Do we even need that one? We're not really going to be stunning all that much, are we? What else could we do for you? Which would be valuable. He does have the friendly skill. To be fair, to be fair, we don't need damage on this guy. So, maybe I go with this. Ups his crit chance and, um... Gives us the friendly skill buff for prop, which isn't a lot of prop, but it hits everyone at the start of battle. I like the idea of that. Um, and I think this is a, a pretty good group of guys and gals to head out on our next expedition. Uh, let's just quickly make sure that they're all um, upgraded and set up right. The bagman. Okay, bagman needs upgrades across the board. And you can't be upgraded yet. Beatrice also needs upgrades, so we go boom, 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 boom. Orwell's fine, although one of his skills isn't upgraded for some reason. And then quickly just check out this. You're good. And there you go. We are pretty low on money here, but I have done something that should help with that. Um, certain classes now have the ability to find uh, stuff that Viara normally can. Uh, do you know the... Um, stuff that antiquarians normally find. So the classes that can find them are um, Highwayman, Dismas, um, the Houndmaster, Grave Robber, Falconer, um, and the Air, uh, I believe. I don't think there's any other. So we do actually need to pick up those classes if we want to take advantage of that at the moment, because at the moment we don't have any of those. Either way, let's uh, get to embarking. Uh, we'll go on this mission here. It should be a reasonably good group um, of guys and gals. And this is a medium mission to the wheel, so we'll take 20 food. We'll take four shovels. Three of those. Four of those. Two of those. Two of those. I'm not going to take holy water because I never end up using it. And we'll bring out... We're not using uh, salamander at the minute, so we'll bring 12 torches. Um, okay, I think we are good to head off. And embark. Let's do that then. Um, and let's go for another diary entry, shall we? So we've got another one here um, from Blank Gaming. The Unclear Aim. A diary between Rose, Sophia, and Alice. Alice, don't move too much. This will sting, but it'll make your injury heal up in no time. Rose said while bandaging Alice. The only distraction to her was the crackling of the campfire till Sophie spoke up. Meh. Let it get infected. I'm sure good old Al will do just fine. Ain't that right? Sophie said in a mocking manner, Alice clearly shuddering at the comment. That, alternatively, I could bandage your mouth shut. You've done almost nothing other than complain about Alice's existence on this expedition, even though he's not been the most consistent out of all of us, Rose said, giving Sophie a foul side eye. Well, I'm not really a guy. Also, it's fine. You don't have to worry about Sophie. Miss, I promise. Alice said in between ouches from the alcohol in the bandaging. See, they're fine. Totally. Alice knows they deserve to be in the position they're in, so don't complain. Neither should you, Sophie said, rubbing her musket clean with seemingly more energy than usual. Even forgetting Alice, you're being annoying and snobby. How about you take this targeting off of Alice and start actually hitting the damn enemies, Rose retaliated. She wasn't sure whether she was uh, compelled to... She wasn't sure what was compelling her to defend Alice like this, but she wasn't ready to stop. Says the bitch who could barely touch her burst since we got here, Sophie responded, face filled with fury. Rose thought about retaliating again, but it just wasn't worth it. Rest well, everyone. We're far from done here. Alice, be careful how you lay down. It might sting if you do it wrong. Sophie thought about pushing Rose's idleness, but also thought it wasn't worth it. She slept peacefully, dreaming of all the love that she'd lost. Really nice. I like that a lot. I think we have... Let me just quickly check what other diaries we got. Okay, so we've got another diary here. I'll go through that later. Let's jump on in. Excise see what we can get done. 
and the land. And we're doing the three, uh, activating three infested corpses. We got Curio, Curio. Okay, that's fine. Unfortunately, we got a shovel right off the bat. That's all, that's always doesn't bird well. To the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Okay, let's see how people do here. Let's see how people do. We have a lot of damage among this group here. Um, and a lot of ability to do some good crits, so I'm excited. Um, debuff all of them with lowered accuracy. That'll help us out. A little bit of a smack there. Regress our state. Go for a repurst. A repurst is super strong, so if anyone hits him while he's got that up, they're in for uh, something rather despicable. But yeah, this will give us all 10 prop, which isn't a lot, but a 10% damage reduction. That could be one or two damage that makes a difference. No one going to go for the guy with a purse? Ooh, that's a rough hit. That's a really rough hit. Wow. Wasn't expecting to see something like that. Okay, nice. Good dodge there. Good dodge. We needed that. Stealth ass. I really like the fact that that's stealth. That's kind of crazy. Oh, ho, 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 Batman. You beast. He hits so hard. It's beautiful. Some flame on there. Very nice. Groping Swim comes out again. We'll go for a stun, and that debuff coming in for even more crit chance. Another kill. Let's heal ourselves. We'll go for the damage here. Unfortunately, this guy having prop, it's going to take a little bit to get him killed, but hey her, it is what it is. Nice one. Increase the crits done to him. Sadly, no crit there. We're just waiting on the crits to just decimate. And then the execute is a guaranteed crit, pretty much. I think it's guaranteed. I can't remember if it's double the chance or guaranteed, but either way, it's good. Lovely more heirlooms to take back with us. That's what we like to see. Another battle straight off the bat here. I like saying straight off the bat when we're using Bagman, because it's accurate. <laughs> I think Steam Vent to start off fights is super valuable. Lowering the accuracy by that much is actually... Kind of crazy. Um, just get some healing going. On various people. I think I'll do another repurst here as well if I can set that up. Always set this up. It gives us great resistances. I just hope we take a hit here. Sadly it doesn't mark us. If it marked us then it'd be really strong. Ah, oh, come on. Just one, one in front. Yeah, there you go. Hazard, get hit. My repose can do. Some wow, that did one damage. Okay, you have a lot of prop. <laughs> you have a lot of prop. Ah, not so much damage on the uh, the prop guys at the moment. Let's go for that. It's gonna do some damage to us, but we can handle it. Steam vent also reduces the amount of damage that does to us. So we can use that early on and it'd be pretty darn useful. Signal spores coming out again. And let's lower the damage across the board here. Yes, that minus accuracy making everyone miss right now. Again, we'll lower everything across the board. It also lowers prot too, so it's, it's really valuable for that. Minus 24 prot off of this guy is, is pretty damn useful. Ooh. Unfortunate stun there on one of our hard hitters. Um, we'll go for another debuff to accuracy. To be fair, it would have been a good idea to add the bonus crits to you, because you hit everything every time. I mean, so does um, so does that madman all well, but still. More restoration there. We need we need a, 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 a trinket that buffs. Restoration, because we've got a few healers that are based off Restoration now. It'd be nice to utilize them more. Yeah, you guys have terrible accuracy right now. 
Oh, huge damage there as well. Huge damage. We can even get an assassination here if we want it as well. I'm going to go for a kill here. Just because it makes sense. Spores incoming doesn't do too much to hurt us. Heal ourselves up a little bit. Furnace damage. Armor piercing. Oh, the wombo combo. You gotta love it. This guy's gonna call for backup any second now, so we gotta be gotta be careful with him. Nice, nice, nice. Good stuff across the board here. Right. Still looking for our curious here. Hopefully we can get more uh, scouting. I think Anya does unfortunately have the ability for enemies to have 10% extra chance of surprises, so that could happen every now and again. Our traps are going to be problematic here as well. Getting a lot of um, a lot of heirlooms here, which I really like. A lot of money as well, apparently. Yeah, there's the trap. I knew one was coming. Luckily, it didn't do too much to us. This is a shovel, but it, it might be necessary, so I'm going to go for it anyways. We've got two shovels left, so we should be okay. Food coming in there. Unfortunately, a whole lot of nothing that way. Everything's going to be clustered around here. That's fine, though. But yeah, I, I love Orwell as a class to bring with us. Oh, fight on the way back. Shame. Could be a mini boss. We've got to be wary of that as well. He's just, he's so powerful at debuffing stuff. Because it, it debuffs everything. It's just, it's great. So we go with Steam Vent straight off the bat. Unfortunately, we've got some resists there. Not, not what we want to see. Good thing about the, the restoration affecting us next round is it might heal us after we get hit. Um, again, we'll go with the repurse here. I think activating repurse right off the bat, potentially really good for damage. Go for that for a little bit of prop. Scamper back away. We never attack him though. He's put him in position 2, because apparently position 2 is the one that gets attacked. Slightly frustrating. Doomsday. Unfortunately, that doesn't activate Repurst either. Oh my god. I hate it when this happens, where, they, where they're where they surprised and they just get to have like 10 turns in a row. It's like, fuck's sake, stop. 49 damage returned on a Repurst. That is what you call a good hit. And there you go, another crit. Really should have killed this guy, to be honest. Um, oh, you dodged it. No way. That's so frustrating. I'm going to have to lower your accuracy because I need you to not hit your next attacks. This guy's going to be a pain on his neck. Yeah, Doomsday. Getting a lot of stress in by inbounds. Good damage. The blood. Armor piercing. Good damage on you. More fire incoming. Again, go for that debuff to accuracy. Also, crits received is rather nice too. And, oh, I was going to say that's you dead, but sadly... Not quite. There you go. Now you are. Beautiful. Holy water we don't need. That's fine. Victories mount. So too will resistance. Keep on pushing through. I didn't actually check if we have any um, prevent nighttime ambush in our camping. It was a shame. Get some of those going. Food is not looking good, I will say. Food is really not looking good. Because we still got a camp. And we only have eight food left. Ah, here we go. Here's one of our bodies. One done. Ah, damn it. Got a battle. Yeah, we're going to have some food issues I would expect here. Nice. Got the debuff on everyone. Oh, no. Missed the first one. That's fine, though. 12 damage. That's good. Really good. I'm going to go for the kill here. Beautiful. Get you gone. Don't leave me behind a parasite. Thank goodness he didn't. And parasites are so goddamn annoying. This time I'm just going to go straight for debuffing these guys' damage. 
getting the extra crit, so I'm not going to bother with the uh, prot and stuff this time around. I suppose the disease resist would be nice to prevent rabies, but we'll hope they just miss anyways. Double rabid rush and double dodge. Get fucked. Oh, really? And then he dodged me. I shouldn't have been so cocky. Nice damage on you. Ooh. Savage Maul. That can be a move that really hurts us. So the lowered crit, lowered damage, all that good stuff. Ho oh, ho, nice, good damage. Resisted the uh, stun though, but that's fine. And we'll of course go for a heal on ourselves here. It's not going to cure the bleed, sadly, it only cures Blight. Aha, we dodged the Savage Maul this time. And there you go. Victory. Crit burn. Perhaps the turning point. Wow, we are getting so much loot here. So much loot. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -da. I'll get rid of them. Scouting's very useful. Ooh, we found a secret room as well. Curia, 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 Curia. Quest location. Okay, so let's just go for the quest location now. Um, 90%. Good, good. With the stress you've got on you, I definitely want that. Please have more food. Oh. Okay, so we got double quest location back that way. I'm going to take some damage doing this. I want to... I, like, I really want to um, go get my secret room now. But I don't really have the space for it. And it's going to mean I, I end up getting a food check on the way back. Almost definitely. I'm just going to take it on the noggin. Map, one second. We don't need any more shovels, so we can get rid of a shovel for that. Right, fight here. Unfortunately, exoplasms can be really annoying, but I'm hoping we can just kill them pretty darn quickly here. Um, how much damage is this going to do off the bat? Yeah, let's just do this. Hey, that's great. Nine. Obviously, we take some harsh damage there, but it means we can get... Oh! As I said, it means we can get both of them killed straight away. No, it doesn't. Dude! Really? He's going to end up calling in a new one now? Why did you all have to miss like that? That's so frustrating. Okay, no, he didn't actually do the kineticism, whatever it's called. Still, I'm bloody annoyed at that. Had to miss on those ones, didn't you? Thank you. Actually hit this time. Those buffs are crazy good. Yeah, I like Orwell. He's just like a stat stick. He doesn't really do anything in combat, but he's just there to like aid everyone else. I think that's really nice. Another kill there. Do our steam again. Both resisted. Wow, okay. Unfortunate. Deafening buzz comes in. Oh, really? Can you stop summoning more? Oh, and we both got stunned as well. Come on now. Confusion. No. 40. The overkill. Don't do it again. Don't call in more. Oh, for I'm getting very frustrated right now. <laughs> getting very frustrated indeed. Stop dodging things. Cure that restorate uh, thingy. There you go. Oh, really? You're gonna leave him with one HP? At least I can execute him. Dude! Why are you dodging everything? Oh my goodness. This is so frustrating. These things are so easy to kill. There you go. My god, what a frustrating bit of combat that was. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Right. Food check is incoming anytime now. I'm not going to bother camping right now.
Nice disarm once again. A little bit of stress healed. There it is. Okay, we've got no more food checks left. We're just not going to camp. Really? Had to be combat, did it? And we've got to make our way back to our secret room, which is going to give us a food check. You just know it is. So we're going to take some stress off of that. I'm just going to stealth you. Let's set that up. Good kill. Please don't revive him. Now nah, we'll go for this. We got some damage incoming here, so let's get get the prot on the resists going. Okay, he didn't go for the uh, the respawn. I'm glad. Passive mobility. Sadly, no resists there. Nice, do that. Get that going, lower that accuracy and speed. Oh, nice damage. Those guys dead at least. These enemies scare me a bit. But now he's dead. Bit more stress incoming. Orwell's getting a little bit stressed. Come on, not quite, not quite. Nice. Foolish horrors. And there you go, we finished the mission at least. And driven into the mud. Right, we're gonna get a food check here almost definitely. And we might even get an extra battle on the way back. But the secret rooms, just for the trinket chance, not even for the money, the trinket chance is just like so good. So we'll snuff out our light and open it. We do have a key, don't we? Yes, I'm going to say, make sure to keep the keys. But yeah, we're just going to have to take on some stress from the food check because it's coming. Yeah, there's a fight. I knew we'd get another fight. Isn't particularly bad. Oh, beautiful kill. No parasite, no parasite, no parasite, no parasite, no parasite, no parasite, no parasite. You little fucker. Goddamn parasites. They're just so difficult to kill if they get uh, good hits on you because they can just keep healing and healing. So I'm going to try and, yeah, kill him straight away. Well, that worked out nicely. More stress incoming. Luckily on the guy that actually had the ability to take on more stress. Ooh, that's a big hit. Ah, you fucker. Always goddamn dodges the um, the stuns. I should probably do the stun for the damage more than anything. There's that heat incoming. Dead meat shouldn't be an issue as long as you don't create a parasite, which you won't, because you're not allowed. Beautiful. Holy crap, that was a good one. Um, ooh, and we actually... Do have enough food here now to, uh... Hmm. Six of them aren't really worth. We actually got food in case we get a check now. My blood congeals into my veins. Oh, God. You watch now, we won't get one, will we? Of course we didn't. Lovely. Right. Snuff. Let's see, okay. That is not really what I was hoping for, but it's not terrible. And we can leave the mission with our head held high here. Feeling good. Everyone's up to level 3 now. Awesome. Okay. Gotta love that. Lazander listened to um, a hunter discussing his techniques. Pigs with legs? Fooey. Just put one through the neck or the shoulder. I'll be back on all fours. New quirk, Warren Tactician. Mm, nice. Okay, right. Uh, let's quickly unequip. Do that. 
you can go to the penance hall. Check what we got in the stagecoach. Oh yes, we all okay. We got we got a lot of good classes here. Oh dude, this is this is tough. We have Berman. I really like the Berman. The Berman's a class I've been waiting for for a while, but it's only level two. I don't now that everyone's level um level three. I don't really want to uh, bring on a um a level two, but I will take on a duelist and I will take on a runaway. Very happy to see both of those. Runaway we've been waiting for for a ridiculously long time, and the duelist is also just a really cool class. So yeah, really nice to have those three new classes for the next episode. Kind of crazy. Um, oh no, the snail slime treatment. That would have been so good for Kimber. Upsetting to see. Either way, um, let's go to our last few diary entries and we'll head off this episode. So we've got a test of resolve, diary of Hestia the, Hestia the Hellion. Wound care, what I need, but how would I care for a wound of the heart? Adrenaline rush, what I left to go chase, the hamlet was such a bore. A breakthrough, I should have been here, I should have protected the people I cared for, I should have helped the grieving, an iron swan. What has become of me, I cannot let my resolve falter. I shall stay strong despite my hurt, both at body and at heart. Kimber, someday I'll have to face you again. I don't know how I'll endure it, knowing your sacrifice didn't have to happen. Chaos, I don't know how I'll face you again. You've grown since before, but I still feel uncertain. My intent was, uh, wasn't to make anyone feel abandoned. My intent wasn't to make anyone feel hurt. What I wanted was a flame, a flame of passion in this world, when this place is just a candle to me, but a candle is tough. A candle will keep burning on and on. I shall keep the candle flame lit, lest I find myself scorched in wildlife. Wildfire, sorry. Very, very nice. And let me just check if we've got any more. Okay, we do have... We do have one more to go over before the end of the episode. This is a rather long one. This is by Rockerin. A Clashing of Faith, a collab with Blank Gaming and Rockerin Part 1. Uh, Guardian arrives at the back entrance of the Abbey, slightly surprised to see Uriel actually came. You really came, and not even armed to the teeth. Shocker. Why would I fear anything? The light's guidance will protect me, and harm those who attempt. The same broad smile on his face. Indeed, the light's guidance. Would you be surprised if I told you the same force bringing, it's the same force bringing me here today? No, the light guides all on their paths. Though some do not like the destination. A light chuckle as he puts a torch along the candle with his hand, without, um, without whimper or flinch at the last word. The light isn't one singular path, you realise that right? It's a guiding force, something to help you, not streamline you. Realising that would have saved me so much hassle before. The light's guidance is absolute, he snaps. It is always the desire of a man to twist its purity in their desires. He pulls aside his shirt, revealing a script carved into him. The light will scour the earth, banishing the dark to where it belongs. While yes, people do bend the light to say what they want it to, don't you think, think the same might be true for the other way around? What would you do in the situation where the light contradicts itself? Would you follow its original or new orders? And then on to part two, which I probably should have read separately, but oh well. Another chuckle as he paces. Ah, the world of a rev revelationist. Always attempting to see doubt in others' faith, but they lack conviction themselves. Always asking for trust in them, but never even willing to place their trust in the light. A flashing wide grin, then uh, through his teeth, the hubris of men. That's not what I meant. I meant more so if the light itself told you to go against something it previously said. I agree you shouldn't take people's word for what the light is saying, but I mean when it directly talks to you. I would follow its word, with no question. If its word was to burn the f um, fid pit away, I would follow the... Um, I would follow, then asked me to rebuild. I would follow. As he smiles um, at Never, as he shows him the um, scarred eye sockets gouged out many years ago. You lack faith, brother. The last word with infliction. What I lack is foresight. You're really drilling that in. I too do as the light beckons. I was hoping maybe you could see. Not everything uh, the light commands is an order. Sometimes it's a trial, but regardless, I think I understand you better now. No matter what you do, no matter who you extinguish, you always have the light with you. And that's the only thing that matters to you, yes? 
The grin slightly sa um, sags. Before I was nothing, purposeless, lost. A, tr um, a truly lost child of its benevolence. Flesh, gambling, alcohol, all of it left me empty. Some men I erred were tearing my flesh for funds. That's when, I, that's when it came to me. A glazed look of pure joy crossed his face. Gratitude and servitude are two different words. Learn that before it's too late. The Guardian begins to walk out. Err also, the light told me to tell you. Don't write death threats in your diary. Really leaves a bitter taste to read them, you know? Another sentiment of a man. Uh, another sentiment of a man. We are servants of the light. Servants. We are not. Not. Cannot be equal. You claim to hear its song, but I have made it clear my disdain of your heretics. Very interesting indeed. Very interesting indeed. I'm loving the uh, development of this series. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Make sure if the um, classes that we've got don't have backstories, people get on that. We've got um, a back... I don't, I don't believe we have a backstory yet for... Uh, so we have one for Saw Hunter actually. We have one for... Um, Wait a minute, I need to rearrange these classes because I'm getting confused. So we have one for Saw Hunter. We have what we don't have one for Duelist, but I think we have one for Runaways. I think it's just Duelist that needs writing for. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.